you should be able to find that. And go in there and modify that. Anything else? I just sort of have kind of a stupid question. Um, I'm not familiar with QPulse, but to me, just seeing it for the first time, it seems like it integrates a lot of platforms that where I work are dispersed. And so is it usable on a large scale, like enterprise scale? Yeah, there's actually two flavors of it. If you go to their website, uh, you will find that they have an enterprise version, which is a little more robust, uh, how they set it up. But you could go read, uh, oh boy, I wish I could remember. There is one place that turned around and it asks you, it can ask you questions like, uh, uh, how big is your company or something, and, and it drops down, and it will tell you how, you, how to size the software and hardware for you. But, some of their customers, if I go in here, I was going to show uh, some of their customer base. Uh, Joe, do you remember where I was? Yeah. Industries. So if I go in here under uh, aviation, you can see that there's some uh, Aerospace companies, they'll, they'll list them. Who are some of the ones we saw in here? I can't remember. Yeah, I, I don't recall companies, but I know that they've used it for fairly large companies. Let's see if I can find anybody. Airports using. Am I losing my connection? Canadian Air. Uh, yeah, if you search their website, I think you can find a lot of the companies that do use their, their products. Uh, I wish I could remember offhand. I don't want to quote any companies, but I know that there were some that were pretty substantial. Not, I can't think of the U.S. ones, but there were some international ones that were. Companies about 10, 11 10 years. Or mm -hmm. yeah. Me, I've been with it for five now. So is it better than what you knew or used it before? I never used it before. Oh. Uh, earlier versions were a little rough, but now they're starting to get better. And I think the reason that our company initially, years ago, bought it was because of the price. Uh, what you got for, you know, it was a small company, didn't have a lot of money. And we found that this was one of the best solutions for the price at the time. You know, I don't know what the current lasting is and all that. Cost. We got to contact them, but I know it, it very off ten years ago. That was a big factor. That we actually had uh, several people go do a study and evaluate a bunch of different softwares, and this is the one we decided to choose based on functionality for, for versus price. Do you know the licensing that name? No, it's concurrent licensing, and there's two uh, levels. There's a primary and a secondary. Secondary can do quite a bit, like acknowledge, review, uh, do some actions. Primary is pretty much your power users, the ones that are going to be doing the audits and creating the documents. And all that. I really, really have not. I know that they do have it in the health environment. I don't know where, but it's been a long time since we've really pushed looking at their website for, you know, purchasing that thing. And so it's as far as. But if you see here the the health sector of where they're used, you can go click here. Um, 
I don't know, I could go click here and see what it comes up. It says the yeah. Blood Bank of Alaska uses it. So, and it says here they achieve compliance with numerous things, FDA. So you can see that that's where they used it. So I really highly recommend you go read through. They've got lots of information. It's buried pretty deep, but it's there. And that's just one. I don't know what else they have in the pharmaceutical. And like I said, I, I got to thank uh, one of the local reps in the U.S. And that's Sextant's Readings. Is that how they pronounce your company? They're out of uh, headquartered in Phoenix, but the people we deal with are out of San Francisco, and they've been real nice about letting us use their test site since we can't use our, our live data. <laughs> so. so that's who we've hooked up with. Anyway. So, so what population is your company using it? Is, is everybody using it or half the company? Or? I would say locally here, most of our people are using it or have access to it. Um, at our other sites, I think there are some of the other sites that use it but I don't know to what what extent. Okay. And we didn't touch on the on the iPad flavor and there's also a web based version. The web based is very limited, it just allows them to get to documents and to do their actions. They can't really dig too deep, but it is nice for our off site folks who cannot link into the client server application, they can actually get to the web based version. So that's pretty much our cupels that we use in a nutshell. Very fast, very feverish. But it's got a lot of information in there. And we think it's pretty robust. I'm sure there's other packages out there that are probably just as good. But we like it for the price, and we got it. So. That's it. Great.